What's up, dragon fruit lovers? Hey, we got a lot of updates on the 50 yard trellis. So check it out. We have added irrigation. This is a huge step. So now we have drip lines going to all our individual pots. And I could show you a little more about how that works, but we'll turn that on and give you a live view. But we got irrigation, which is fantastic because previously I was uh, hand watering all these and it was taking a long time. So we have also added a new section to the trellis, which I'm walking towards. But you can see all the plants are really happy. They're topping the trellis. We just have tons of new growth too. If you look at some of these uh, branches just have lots of new shoots, almost like a springtime. Even though it's late summer, we're getting like a early spring vibe. We get dark stars shooting a bud. I'll probably take that off, but we don't want to. We don't want to fruit right now. We want to grow. So we get tons of new growth. Check out this one, the Bruni. The Bruni's just got tons of new shoots. Really cool. Get it to focus there. Yeah, looking good. Super happy. All the plants are stoked right now. Here's that G3. Super, super happy. Here's Paul's hypodermic. Look at all these new shoots. Tons of them. This whole branch has new shoots. We're just giving these plants lots of food and lots of water. So that seems to be the ticket right now. And things are going really well. So as we're walking down, I'll show you the new stuff. So these are the plants that haven't topped the trellis yet, but they're getting there. And Paul's Laverne Pink, a Connie G, Cosmic Charlie over here. And then here is the new section. So we have, let's see, we got four more posts to fill out. So we got some little ones over in these, so they're starting to climb. Boom. We just put in a Diego's Desert King seedling right here, which is going to be a winter fruit because it will blossom in the summer, but it will take six months to get ripe. So, all right, I'm gonna put one of these pots together for you. I believe this is a five gallon pot that we're using. So I'm gonna take this Sawzall. We're gonna cut a hole right in the base of this thing. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll come right back to you. All right, now we got a hole in our pot. This is just to let the roots come out at the bottom because eventually these things are gonna be pretty massive so they're gonna have big root systems they're gonna want to escape the confinement of these pots so we're gonna go ahead and set it up right here so we're gonna make a little base mound here we're gonna put our pot right on top kind of push a little of the dirt in let it settle and then we're gonna fill up our pot all right so we got our pot up on the mound ready to fill it up now we do have a French drain that runs underneath this whole area so when we later on when these uh, dragons get bigger, we have to water a lot more. That'll probably come into play and also come into play in the winter when we need their drainage because it does rain from time to time in San Diego. So we want good drainage during those times. So we got a French drain that runs all the way through and ends up over here. And like I said, I think we're just going to keep continuing it down this hill because it's got a nice fall to it. So that is the tentative plan. So let's fill up this pot right here and get another dragon in. And here's our soil mixture. It's pretty simple. You don't want to overthink this part of it. Keep the soil simple. You want to do mostly sand. We're doing a little peat moss. Uh, we put a little mycorrhizal fungi in there and perlite. We got some uh, a good amount of perlite in there. You could use other stuff or you could use different size perlite. Some people use pumice or other, other methods of keeping the soil loose but we have perlite so we're going to use it but uh, mostly you want a really high drainage and then you're just going to want to put your nutrients on top and let the water kind of push them through the soil and then that's how your plants will eat but mostly you want a lot of sand so you get good high drainage so we just put in american beauty total classic and this has been sitting in the greenhouse rooting and has a little bit of a toleated kind of thin growth, but that'll start thickening up 
as we introduce you to UV. Diego's Desert King looking great. Both are prime. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this irrigation on and I'll show you how that works. All right, so here's our master valve right here. We're just gonna go ahead and give this a turn. So this is coming from that valve, this thick irrigation line. We basically just ran it all the way to the trellis. And then it's gonna go up on the trellis right here. And then we have drip lines going to each individual pot. And as you can see, we have water and they're happy. All right, so here's the valve for Diego's Desert King. And these just have a little top screw basically that uh, you just go to the left. And as you go to the left, it'll start allowing flow and you can keep clicking to the left to allow more flow. But we're towards the bottom of the line, so there's gonna be a little more pressure from gravity. So we'll probably keep these a little more constricted than the ones up above, so we have even flow. And there you go, that's dialed in. So we'll just keep on going, make sure all our drip lines are watering about the same pace. All right, we got the drip all figured out, looks good. Things are flowing. If you'd like to help the channel, please give us a subscribe and perhaps like this video. We got lots of videos coming up. Paul is always learning new things and passing it along to y'all. So if you want the latest and the greatest, hit the subscribe button and help us out. And we'll see you again next time.